Okay, so we are here with the gentleman. Um, I hear that you visited Jamaica for the first time when you were 16 or, or 17. I was 18. Yeah. 18? Yeah, it's getting okay. younger and younger. <laughs> <laughs> was it then that you become interested in reggae? Yeah, I mean, there was different stations in my life where um, I intensified the music, you know, but the first Jamaica visit was definitely very inspiring, was very, um, you know, very strong experience where I realized that music is more than entertainment, you know, or music can be more than entertainment. And, um, you know, discovering the music on a different level. Uh, I also hear that Jamaica is your second homeland. Uh, it's, uh, is it a place where you write your lyrics, where you create your music? Well, um, I, f I, I do feel home in, in Jamaica, but um, I feel home in the tour bus too. I feel home on stage, you know, but my home is in Cologne. Mm -hmm. um, Jamaica is definitely a place of inspiration where I can, you know, sometimes write more easier. Where um, you know, I'm connected to my creative source because in Kingston there's a lot of singers, songwriters, producers, musicians, very inspiring and um, you don't think so much when you, you know, do music, this is very so, important. You so what do you like? Mind. What do you like in Jamaica? Mm, I like the vibes, you know, I like the, the musical presence, I like the, the climate, you know, it's a very beautiful place. Um, Music is all over the place, so it's a very intense experience. So I heard uh, your lyrics are full of positive emotions, and I guess that this is the main aim of uh, reggae, um, evoking such positive feelings. Do you think that listening to reggae can influence, influence people, influence in a positive way? I think music in general influences people in a positive way, also in a negative way, you know, it depends. Um, music is very, very powerful, that's why I um, take care that I write lyrics where, you know, um, I feel a certain responsibility, you know, when it comes to the content of the lyrics. So it's very important to, um, for me to write songs where can move people, you know, where people hear the songs and they're like, yeah man, there's something I can relate to, something where, you know, I um, feel the same and I'm not alone with my thoughts. And this is what, um, what music did to me and still do to me. When I listen to other artists and I hear a certain line in the lyrics, um, reflect my own thoughts, I'm like, wow, you know, I see it the same way, even though it's, it's a whole, a different kind of the earth, it's a different religion, different culture, different background, different education. Music, you know, um, shows us that we're all equal, that we're all made of flesh, and that we're all on a certain journey, you know, and this is what I like with music so much. And definitely reggae music, roots reggae music, is a different thing than dancehall music. I like the message of roots reggae music, the message of Bob Marley, of Jacob Miller, of Garnet Silk, you know. Um, they taught us to, you know, be more in tune with ourselves, be more in tune with nature, with the surrounding. And this is, you know, what I, what I like so much with it, really music. So that was my next question. So if you were to name only one um, kind of source of inspiration, who would it be? Only one? That's hard. It's a hard question, you know, because there's so much good artists, you know. Who did inspire me over the years? And but Bob Marley is definitely the person who, you know, the first that comes to your mind. Yeah, who inspired me the most. Um, but then also, you know, you, you can't hear too much of one person, you know. So that's what I like with reggae music so much because of its versatility. That there's so much good artists um, who left so much good music. Uh, in your latest single, I Got To Go, uh, you sing that you leave on tour yet another time and that you part with your family, but that you'll be back soon. Uh, tell me, how much time do you spend away from home? Oh, um, it's a lot of time, you know, I'm on the road. But it's not about, you know, as a family father, it's very important to know how you spend the time with your kids. You know, that is very intense. It's not the amount of time, it's how you spend the time. And this can, you know, balance a lot of things. 
but it's definitely the other side of the coin is that time became such a luxury. But this is my passion, this is my life. It's not even that I choose this. I need to do this, you know, I need to make music, I need to, you know, be on the stage, travel the world, you know, and spread the music. This is my mission. So it's nothing that I choose, it's something that I have to do. And my kids do understand. But um, you know, I love my father and I really respect him a lot. At the same time, I realized that he came home every evening and still didn't spend so much time with me. You know what I mean? So it's not about how much time, it's about how you spend the time. The and it's the quality, yeah. So that's, that's the word I was looking for. So I do spend quality time with my kids. And it's a very special and very precious time when we have time together. But it's very important after every two I say, yeah, then I got like three months where I don't do nothing but spend time with my kids. Not so long ago, uh, your second live album uh, appeared. Do you think that such uh, live records send more energy to the listeners and that in that way your message gets to them better? Um, I don't know, you gotta ask the listeners. Um, normally the live album, they don't have such a good reputation. People always say, yeah, it's the same like the album, you know, it's that people club in between. But everybody who comes to our shows, they know that our live shows are really different than this, this, the, the way how we perform the songs are different than how you can hear them on CD. So it is different. Plus it's, it's, it's like a best of because there's, of course, diversity is the middle point of the, the live album, but there's also songs from the previous album, you know, so it's like a best of. There's, um, the arrangements are different, it's, they have a different energy, you know, um, so it's a different product. Okay. Um, do we know that you are a big uh, football fan and do you plan on visiting Poland during uh, Euro 2012? Um, I didn't plan it, but you, you give me an idea right here. You know, maybe I can come by and see what's happening here. It would be nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, here in Poland we also have some interesting music festivals, including reggae ones. Uh, have you heard about Ostroda Reggae Festival? Uh, Ostruda is a small town, 40 kilometers from Ostruda. No, I didn't hear about it yet. Okay, so maybe you will. Um, and I guess that's all. Thank you very much. All right, then. All the best. Dobre, zabawe, korsabo. You don't know what it is. Jenko man, and I go like this guy. No more time to waste, and you know just what to do. Leaving out the old and picking up the new one. There is nothing to replace, cause it's all inside of you. Change, yes. Book me out to eat.